And welcome back. It's 914. The San Antonio Humane Society is at capacity after opening their kennels to more than 100 animals affected by Hurricane Ida. The hallways and education center of the nonprofit now serving as a temporary safe haven while medical staff prepare them to be adopted. And those animals are under high stress, need help from the community in more ways than one. Alicia Beretta is live from the San Antonio Humane Society with more about how many of us can help. You've got your hands full there, Alicia. Yeah, good morning. We're a little distracted because I'm trying to get homie over here. He is just a little bundle of joy. He's not ready for adoption just yet, but let me tell you, there are plenty, plenty of ways to help, and it's not just adoption here at the San Antonio Humane Society. Right now, they're at capacity, so they really need help with donations. So if you can donate any food, uh, cat beds, blankets, dog beds, toys for these animals, that way they can socialize. But really what they need is a lot of love. So they'll need a lot of volunteers to come over here, help them bathe them, walk them, and just socialize. It's finally time for the one thing that has stayed consistent throughout the last few days, food. It's amazing. I mean, you just see it in their eyes. It does not take long to see that they've been through so much already. It's a long journey. There and like they say, where there's a will, there's a way. We are a full house. We are full capacity. The San Antonio Humane Society has improvised to protect and improve the lives of 50 dogs and 86 cats spared from the destruction caused by Hurricane Ida. We are definitely accommodating our new pets in our education room. We have crates filled there with our new dogs dogs and then we're keeping our new kitties and cats in our medical building in the hallways. While medical staff works around the clock to make sure each furry friend is vaccinated and spayed or neutered, here's what the community can do to help ease the load. So we need pet food, we need cat beds, dog beds, uh, treats, we need uh, rubbing alcohol, we need blankets, towels, uh, toys, and you can either drop them off here at the shelter. We have a blue bin located right outside our doors. But most of all, these guys need love and a safe home, which they may soon find in the Alamo City. <laughs> He's being silly over here. So we just received an update. Instead of those 86 cats, they actually helped save 104 cats, 50 dogs. So that total number goes up to 154. He sees my cord here. Although there aren't any official plans to accept more dogs and cats affected by Hurricane Ida, the San Antonio Humane Society is prepared. So they want to make more room for these animals that need shelter. So they're running a big promotion right now. It's that Hurricane Ida promotion. So adoption fees for all animals, excluding their ambassador ones, those will be 50% off. Alicia, what if people want to volunteer to walk or bathe some of these pets? What's that process like? Yes, that's huge. That's something that's so needed right now. So if anyone's interested in volunteering, fostering as well, they want to fill out an application on the San Antonio Humane Society's website. And if you just want to come walk these, um, uh, the dogs or bathe them and just socialize because that's a big part of getting them ready for adoption, they can come any day. The San Antonio Humane Society is open seven days a week from noon to 7 p.m. Back to you guys. 